These are fighters for the Kitchen Independence Army, filmed just last month patrolling the enclave in the remote northernmost region of Myanmar and just within sight of government forces. As long as the Burmese keep coming at us, we have to keep fighting. Just over two weeks later, these fighters were being bombarded. Myanmar's military reportedly pounding rebel positions with airstrikes and artillery in response to Kachin threats to retake lost territory. Kachin rebels say they've been defending the right of the mainly Christian minority to control the resource-rich region for more than 50 years. They accuse Myanmar's soldiers of decades of atrocities and employing tactics similar to those allegedly used by government forces against Rohingya in Rakhine State, burning down houses, shooting people and raping women. The government of Myanmar denies the accusations. Myanmar's ethnic diversity is at the heart of conflict right across the country. When Myanmar gained full independence from British rule in 1948, power was unexpectedly handed to the majority Burmans, a deal that excluded numerous ethnic minorities, including the Kachin. The country has been at civil war ever since. Eight of the 130 ethnic groups in Myanmar have armies. The Kachin is one of the most powerful. A 17-year ceasefire deal with the Kachin fell apart in 2011 and fighting resumed. The decades-long unrest has displaced an estimated 120,000 Kachin. They don't fire at the front line, they fire at random, anywhere. So we don't know where they're going to drop. We're so scared. We don't know if it will happen when we're asleep. That's why we're so scared. We can't sleep at night. Some armed ethnic groups have signed peace deals with the government. Others, including the Kachin, have not. They say they don't trust the process or the government and have joined an alliance of rebel groups in the north. Now they're engaged in some of the worst fighting in decades, but it's difficult to assess. Media access is strictly limited, and aid agencies are calling on the government to allow them access. Miriam Nahond, Al Jazeera.